Okay, so let me ask you a question. Wouldn't you love to be able to do your laundry anywhere, <laughs> non-electric, start to finish in under five minutes? It's back the laundry pod i don't even can't even tell you the last time we had this long time since we've had it available at hsn it is the only non-electric washing machine this is the only airing we have an incredible showstopper price Hi. of 99.95 to 79.95 kelly do you dream with us today it never this, stays so if you're at all locks. interested it it's sells been months out. right it has been months and before that it was a few years before we got these back in stock so this is the world's first <clears throat> excuse me, non-electric washing machine, low water consumption. So only a couple of gallons in five minutes, oh you can do a small gosh. load. It's crazy. That so if you're so somebody great. that has a lot of delicates that you're constantly hand washing and hand wringing, right, right. this is the alternative to hand washing. Or running your entire, <laughs> a huge load when it's you only want two exactly, or three items, right? Exactly. So it's power. also for people in high rises, condominium, dorms rooms, you know, assisted living mm -hmm. that don't have a washer dryer for mm -hmm. those small in between loads. We have right now, we're going to do an example of what it was, you know, sort of invented for delicates, ladies. Oh you know you're supposed to hand wash your delicates, right, Bobby? Yes. One bra is about yeah. $65, and yeah. that's a, a conservative. Yeah, I mean, exactly. and you're so, so you're supposed to hand wash them. Your bras and panty sets, your nighties. This is eight pieces, okay? So it depends on what you put in, how many pieces you can put in. But now you just put it in the basket and you use all the same instruments you would in a traditional electric washer dryer, okay. right? Regular so you're water. going to use regular water, but okay. this time I want you to pour in only one gallon or up to two gallons. Okay. So if you've got a couple pairs of jeans in there, use two gallons. I'm using oh, one gallon. Man, this now, is cool. if you think of it like this, your traditional washing machine takes 75 oh. gallons per yes. load. And for per load anymore. <laughs> forever. It, if you're paying by the gallon, which most people within a municipality are, you're yeah. paying $100, $200 for water every month. If you just cut down a couple of those loads, you're going to save the price of admission right there. Okay, right? now, and uh, by the way, so you're using any... laundry soap. It any can be Nelly's. It can be your oh, eco egg. Perfect. It good, can good, be good. the little, you know, pods. It can be anything. I just use traditional laundry soap. All right. So just to let you know, mine is clear. Now you're getting home the white one. Mine is clear because I want to show you what's happening. All right, so watch as I spin. You're going to be blown away. Oh. And I'm not, Bobby, I am not exerting any energy. I wish I could tell you this was a bicep workout, lady, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> It's Can't very easy to spin. Now, as it spins, as I make one cycle, it spins four times on the inside. So very little effort is required. Now, I would say for a wash, you want to do about 60 seconds. Okay. Literally 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Kids, grandkids, even adults love to do it. It's fun. Look what's oh happening gosh. on the inside. It's literally agitating your clothes, cleaning your clothes, <laughs> this is just crazy. like your big clunky washer. But your washer's taking 65 gallons, no matter how much you put in it. If you put yeah. in a single shirt or a full right, load you're right. paying for 65 gallons mm -hmm. of water I'm even gonna open it up and show you what's happening with the suds look at all the suds down below it's creating mm -hmm. exactly what would be created in your traditional washer dryer so all you're gonna do is spin those clean right so you're agitating it you're getting all of those suds going you're cleaning it now once you've done that for about a minute minute and a half depends on how dirty everything right, is right, right. right? There's just a little release button, and for us, it's on the side, so I'll spin it just so you can see it. All you do is release the water. Now, if you're outdoors, if you're using an environmentally friendly, you know, washing detergent, you can release that water anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah, oh, that's because really maybe you're camping or you're yes. hiking or you're canoeing or you're mm -hmm. wherever you are, you can mm -hmm. now be washing your clothes. If you're at home and you're just in your apartment, just drain it down your sink or down your bathtub. Drain it wherever you want to drain it, but you can see now the water leaving. Then you take it and you're going to do your rinse cycle, just like your washing machine would. So you're going to do a traditional wash, a traditional rinse, and a traditional spin. Right. All within five minutes. Now your washing machine, at least my washing machine, my fast awesome. cycle, 37 minutes. Mm -hmm. My fast cycle. Oh well, yeah, right. That's right. if yeah, I the throw in ones like an over an hour. Yeah, nowadays. that's so if I throw in a single shirt efficiency. and I need that shirt tonight. Exactly. 35 minutes just mm -hmm. to wash it. Okay. So we're going to do the exact same thing on this one, but now you're just going to use clean water, no soap, right? So for your wash cycle, you use soap. For your rinse cycle, you're going to use clean water, 
No soap. So okay. you drain the soap out, then you just put your water in it. You just put your water it, back in it, and then and you do can the see same it has thing. the little locking tabs. Now what's right. cool here is that folds down, right? So for easy storage underneath the cabinet. And it's for lefties or righties. Watch this. It goes both ways. Oh. And it, we're showing you two different units, but you're doing it yeah, all in one unit. Yeah, I just wanted to show that clear knows. unit because I wanted to yeah. show you what happens on the inside. Right. Exactly. You do it all in the single white unit, right? Oh my gosh. So now for your rinse cycle, you're just going to rinse it for about another minute. Yeah. So yeah. Now we're two minutes in, Bobby. Two minutes in to your washing cycle. So Once great. you have it rinsed, again, you're going to just drain it. So drain I'm that releasing that tab. It it's see. actually coming out of the tube and going into your sink or into the grass or wherever you're draining it, right? And you had mentioned that this is perfect for boats. I would say if you have RVs, boats. RVs, truckers. We get a lot of truckers. Yes. You know, that yeah. own this to Trailers, wash their clothes. Yes, yep. definitely. So because that's again, what's happening there. You know, we just did some of your, 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 your lingerie. Yep. But you could maybe throw in that one pair of jeans. Or what about a lot of people who work in the medical field and oh, need to do scrubs the scrubs. every day. So the scrubs, hot, uh, think about the time, the money that yes. you're going to save by on using water. the unit. At, uh, you're saving, right, you're saving a tremendous amount on water. You use regular water. You use your regular laundry detergent, whatever it is. Me, it's my Nellie's. I love my Nellie's. I love my Nellie's. Or the eco egg. egg. I love you. Egg. Egg. I love that egg. too. So, and, and the unit itself, by the way, is only like 14 and a half by 15, so it's easy to move around and look how oh dry my gosh. those are. Done. So now I just did my rinse cycle, my spinning dry, right? Because if you've ever tried to hand wash, if you have any kind oh. of issues with your hands or just you have weak hands, you have to ring, yeah. ring, ring. Or how many towels do you go through, right? Oh. Trying to roll it oh. all out on the towels. Then you have to do the towels yes. and put the towels in the dryer. Look at the, Dryers I mean, for... we just spun these dry, just like your traditional washing machine so cool. spins them dry. So all I want you to do is do that rinse cycle. Once all the waters are out, you just take it and you can see I'm literally spinning the driplets. You can see just a few driplets coming out of that hose that is spinning all those last minute drips and drops out of my clothing. So and I don't John. have to wring anything. I mean, we talk to ladies that buy this just for their delicates. Yes, but we also well talk to it. truckers that take this on the road. They do mm -hmm. an outfit a night mm -hmm. because they don't have a washing machine in the hotel room or wherever they're staying. Maybe they're spending the night in their <laughs> truck. Idea. It's awesome for people that are in a lot like a laundromat type of situation right. where you don't own a washer dryer because your apartment doesn't allow for it or you live mm -hmm. in New York City or Chicago or, or you Los don't want to walk down the stairs or you get down there dorm and all rooms. the machines are full. Yeah, How many times rooms. when I was in a dorm room, yeah. I went down the stairs and people had taken my clothes out oh, to put yes. their clothes in. Exactly. Strangers touching Ugh. your delicates in any of your clothing they is not no, comfortable. No. Exactly. And I know we have a clock that is up on the screen, but I have to tell you, we have not seen it forever. And also, this is the only non-electric washing machine. Yes, ma'am. And you just saw that you can wash, you can rinse, you can spin, spin all and get that complete laundry done start to finish in under five minutes. So it's the time you're going to save. The fact yep. that again, that we think about that because most of us aren't doing huge, massive exactly. loads of laundry But you're spending the money for right. the water mm -hmm. at, for a huge, massive load. If it's just you, if it's just you and your spouse or you and one other person and you only want to do those single loads all you have to do is put in a gallon of water it locks closed and then watch what's happening on the inside I want to show you the clear one remember you're getting the white one but we've made this clear one just for demonstration purposes check that out look at the suds it's creating I am literally with my, my hand creating a washing machine now if <laughs> like you're a vortex it is a vortex now if you're anybody that lives like in the southeast or maybe you get you know all the power outages up in the northwest or mm -hmm. north East, and you want to have clean clothes during the power outages mm -hmm. when we're out for five or six days at a time, yes. have this in your emergency preparedness kit. But Great I promise idea. you're going to reach for it, ladies, when you want to do your delicates you know, or you want to do the in-between loads. Right. Look what happened. Or, but what about like for us down here, it's the hurricanes, yep. right? So you're living, in, again, situations where you're without power. Yep. What are you doing? And clearly, as we all know, for many of us in many parts of the country with, you know, hurricanes and other natural disasters that can go on for a long time. Oh. Period yeah, of time. Five, six days. Yeah, right. So you here have the chance to do your laundry anywhere. And again, in traveling with it, it's like 14 and a half by 15 it's inches. About a square 14 foot. inches high. So it's so lightweight, portable, and it's the one unit. Uses, yeah, way less than five gallons. We're telling you two. Yeah, I right. mean, for that load, it was two gallons. Yeah, two gallons. And so again, whether it's apartments, dorms, or as we said, outdoors, boat, campers, RVs, anything like that, it's such a godsend. And the fact that it's quick, Thank you.
simple and easy to use, and it is the only unit that is non-electric. Non-electric. Non you don't have to plug anything in. You can do this anywhere there's water, yes, right? exactly. And it's less than five minutes for that full load that we just right. did. Here's right. just some examples of things you might use it for, although you guys are constantly telling us all these great examples. This is swimwear. You should never put your swimsuits, your bikinis, your, you know, gentleman shorts in the washer. It ruins the clothing. So for swimsuits at the condo, the vacation home, go ahead and give them a rinse after you've been at the beach all day. Okay, my workout gear. I must have 20 pairs of yoga pants and oh. I like two of them. So when I'm one of them is dirty, way. I am throwing the other one in the laundry pod exactly. because I just have an affinity for a certain pair. Right, you right. You can do that in the evening and have the yoga pants. Soccer clothing for the kids. Uh oh, forgot to wash the soccer jersey. Throw it in the laundry pod. Um, my husband and I love to hike. We love to camp. Our camping gear, we take this along with us. Perfect. We keep it in the tent. You can clean your clothes while you're camping and you're off grid. How about ladies, the nightgowns, the bras, the panties that we mm -hmm. spend so much money on? They say on the tag, yeah. do not put these in a washing machine. Yeah, exactly. Baby clothing. And then we mentioned the scrub tops. We get a lot of emails from veterinarians, yeah, from doctors, from nurses, from, mm -hmm. um, you know, dental hygienists. Tex. Mm -hmm. They have to wear the same clothes every day and they only want to have a couple of pairs. Right. You can wash those in 